Yo, 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 what's going on? This is the NRW, where nerds rule the world. Back again, it's your boy Kuya P. I'm here with the one, the only, Heather Hurt of New Release Wednesday, and of course, the cat that levels us up, Mr. Glenn Lawrence. It's busy times. We're coming off of Thanksgiving week, week, weekend. Can't even talk right. But um, we're here. We're here to, to rock and roll, do what we do, talk about new pop culture stuff. Uh, let me start with Heather. Um, I know you don't exactly celebrate this colonizer holiday that is Thanksgiving, but how was yours? Uh, did you get any thing in while we're gone uh from what i understand i i think because we follow each other obviously we're all squad um i know you're taking in wednesday right i can't hear you heather <laughs> let's pretend that didn't happen there we go <laughs> how are you heather so uh, as you were saying uh what's going on um i did i on thursday because adam's family values has an incredible scene where wednesday takes down uh the white colonizers um through and through and calls out you know the same scene since 1993 um i we spent thursday just binging all of adam's family stuff uh watched binged through the entire wednesday series um i am sad to say that it's not so much adam's family to me but at the same time, I'm not going to say it was a bad series. It was very, um, my, my husband related it a lot to Sabrina. You got these gothy, teenage drama, fun, supernatural things going on. It was a really fun series. I got to say it was an Adam's family. It didn't feel like Adam's family to me. Um, <laughs> but it was a really fun series with a lot of great supernatural elements. Um, it talks on uh, equality and um, acceptance. And there were a couple of things that we can talk about that that actually impact race um but in netflix got to take care of that lgbtqia problem that you apparently are having right now um but other than that it was a really fun series got to, and then of course we've got to watch something that we can finally talk about this week got to finish that so all right anything else going on outside of that? oh oh yeah i guess um i i think i think glenn you mentioned this sh this documentary before um uh, I finally watched um, Is uh, That's Black Enough or um, Is That Black Enough for You? I think that's the name of the documentary. Mm. Um, I, but I thought you were the one that brought it up before. I, someone in this oh. chat did. Um, Possibly, but, but I don't think so. I don't know. I've been meaning to watch it. But... So it's it's on. It's a documentary on Netflix um, that spotlights uh, Black history in Hollywood, um, Black film, and it truly actually talks about black film it doesn't uh, really delve too deep into uh like how race has impacted or no, i guess that's not really the way it, it's it doesn't really talk about the divide it specifically looks at the historical relevance the historical impact of black film um and it's it's an absolutely incredible um i i strongly suggest it it's a great great watch it is a little long a little long and there is some kind of shoddy um cuts but other than that like the documentary is incredible and it's an incredible and it's a great look at his at history um from a black purview in hollywood and it's just absolutely great go go i might I'm have to find that i don't recall seeing that on my my feed so i'm i might have to look that up so it's, yeah, a, it's a new doc it. on netflix it's on netflix it's um it was trending last week i completely forgot that it was on word it is an incredible documentary um strongly suggest it hell yeah all the way through so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to peep that i'm gonna have to peep i'm that. hyped yeah i okay. want to check it out now how about you glenn how about what so other than us both peeping that out what have you been peeping out what you've been up to since we uh off? i've been chilling um actually i do have a bone to pick with you kuya p i watched spirited and I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. I had fun with Spirited. I didn't say it was bad. I did. It was just... so, so, so I remember it, someone distinctly saying saying it was trash. No, I said I was said that, that, that the reviews have been awful. That, exactly. The okay. reviews yeah. have been. I haven't watched it yet. Uh -huh. Okay. But it's one of those words. What one thing that's keeping me from watching it is how across the board legitimately bad the reviews are yeah so. i you know what it's a music I, here's the thing though i feel like anytime a musical comes out people hate it people don't like musicals they get really upset they get like 
like uncomfortably upset about musicals. I don't understand why people like really, really go in on it and they're like really, really upset. And I thought, Cool P, I thought that you had said something about like you didn't like it either. Like you had checked it out and you didn't, and then you didn't like it either. I might, I might be wrong. I might have, I might have be misremembering it. But I remember the consensus was it was trash, avoid at all costs. And I was like, there's no other good Christmas Yuletide movies on right now for Thanksgiving. So I was like, what else am I going to do? So I watched it and I was like, actually, this is kind of fun. I like I like what they did with this a little bit. I, I'm i cool with it. I'm I'm OK with it. I'm not like I want to watch it every Christmas, but I'm like, oh, that was fun for what it was. Okay, Guardians, did you watch Guardians? I mean, that was there this weekend. Ah. I loved Guardians. I was smiling throughout. Now, that one was unquestioned. There was no question. I had fun with that from beginning to end. Uh, and I thought it did a good job of, uh, you know, being Christmassy, having the, you know, the the corny Christmas uh, spirit with it, but then also setting up things for the future of, like, the franchise and going into it and kind of get where they're all emotionally at, at the, uh, you know, at, for Guardians 3. So I thought it was uh, kind of cool. I think it's something that you could probably pop back on. They had some good songs in there. Chris is all about the songs. It's all about the cheer. It's all about the songs. And that's what gets me in. That's what gets your boy Glenn Lawrence in there. That's what levels him up. That's what makes him smile. That's what makes him hug. You know what I mean? The, the songs. I like the songs. Okay. So Guardians a plus plus and yeah. Spirited was a plus plus as well for you. Uh, I, I give it a plus. It was definitely plus. it was solid. It was Not as good as Guardians. No, 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 no. Guardians had me smiling like at the very beginning. I was like, I like this already. Okay. This is great. I I really enjoyed this. And, and I thought it was fun. I thought it said something. I thought it was uh, very, very, you know, interesting that the whole arc of it. Uh, okay. So, so yeah. So, wait, you, I, uh... I, I, I apologize for mischaracter mischaracterizing your review of Spirited. Please no worries. Me. No worries. I'll follow up. I'll follow up on and when it's my turn. It's all okay. good. <laughs> Was uh? Did you check out Wednesday like Heather did? Uh, I've not checked out Wednesday. I had a sneaky okay. suspicion it was also going to not be Adam's family-ish. I thought it was, and uh, you know, one of my I've got a lot of comedian friends. One of them was like, like, oh, so Wednesday is basically just doing an Aubrey Plaza imp impersonation like the entire time, and I'm like, yeah, that that you know, that's about what I thought. So I didn't check that out. I did, however, as you can see, I watched my birds fly. You know what I'm saying? I know. Uh, I know the, the foosball may not be everyone's uh, favorite, but for me on Thanksgiving, a nice football game after uh, stuffing myself with, you know, having some beer and just chilling out is, uh, this is a great day. Mwah. So I watched the, the Cowboys go out there and I, I hope they were going to lose, but they didn't. Uh, then I watched my, my birds, birds get out there and fly high on a uh, Sunday night. So that was exciting. Uh, but all in all, Good Thanksgiving weekend, had some good views, good watches. Uh, and you know, I'm excited to see what's coming out on this Friday. Okay, okay. Um, for the both of you, because I don't think y'all tipped on this, anything bad that y'all both watched that or wasn't too good, or not exactly bad, but just didn't really hit the level or the mark you wanted. What did that would I, I think probably for you, Heather, would you say Wednesday probably didn't hit the complete mark because it wasn't Adam's family enough? You know, it no, I don't. I don't think so. I think it hit a mark. Okay. But just um, it, it. It was kind of like Lynn. I kind of went in a little bit skeptical. I think that the entire cast could do an Adam's Family show or movie. It just was not what what I wanted in that. Um, I okay. will say this though: for what at what it did not hit in the Adam's Family, it hit in fun Easter eggs. So mm. like, no. And honestly, I honest, I cannot think of anything that was a miss this weekend. Just okay. enjoyed nice long weekend and watched stuff that I wanted to watch. Sweet, sweet. I feel that. How about you, Glenn? Is there anything uh, that missed the mark? Uh, all the Christmas movies, like that, like there's like a lack of Christmas movies out this year. Like usually, there's like a cool little Christmas thing that's like you know that just come out, and I'm excited, you know, to watch my little corny Christmas movie, get with the family, and, and watch it or whatever. I felt like it was very lacking this year. As Did you I see said, Christmas Story is, Christmas, the that. Uh, you know what? I wanted to. However, the wife has not seen the first Christmas story. So I was kind of oh, wow. saving it because I wanted her to see the first. I know. And then whenever I bring it up and I say, wow, to her, she's like, <laughs> stop shaming me because I haven't seen it. I'm like, I'm like, it's just it's just a part of like our youth that I thought you, yeah. you, know, you had known. But she hasn't seen it. So I want her to see a Christmas okay. story before we get into um, the, the new Christmas story. Uh, so I was saving it for that. And then I thought, you know, we have you know, 
20 something days until Christmas. So I, there is some time, you know, to catch up. We don't have to watch every Christmas thing out now. Um, but I will say this, I will say this. Uh, the, I didn't watch one in particular bad thing. I started like so many different Christmas, like, you know, um, offerings and they were trash. <laughs> they were not good. They were upset. I turned them off. I was, I was annoyed by them. Uh, Lindsay Lohan has one. It's called Falling in the Christmas. And I was like, what is this crap? What is this? Uh, and what Christmas with You is another one. I didn't even watch it. Uh, I just started. And I was like, ah. Uh. But I, I haven't been able to get into the Yuletide spirit because they're not releasing the Christmas movies like they used to. And they're all kind of cookie cutter. I wanted something fun. I wanted something original, which is why I kind of like Spirited. It was a little bit fun, a little bit original, even though it was a, you know, a, a take on a old, you know, Dickens story um which is uh, you know it's a wonderful life is my favorite christmas movie you know black and white the the old school one so all the spinoffs that have come from you know it's a wonderful life um are kind of th those are my things i really i really like them you know you get visited by the ghosts of christmas past present future all that type of good stuff it's, it's just fun and this one had like a little it just upped the ante a little bit so i really enjoyed it uh spirited but uh yeah all the other like little rom com -y Christmas movies were not living up to my standards. Upset. Are you, are you a Hallmark movie kind of guy, Glenn? Are you a Hallmark movie guy? You know, I, I want to say I enjoy all types of film, but I feel like specifically this year, I, I tried to watch a bunch of those Hallmark ones, and I was just like not liking them and like, urgh, like furiously kind of, you know, annoyed by them. So maybe not. <laughs> Perhaps no. Um, but I, I'd like to say that yes, I am a Hallmark guy. I love I love the Hallmark uh, film, but mm, I feel like this year definitely I'm, I wasn't feeling it. Gotcha. What about okay. you, Creepy? What are your What are your good bads and uglies this week? All right, I appreciate that, Heather. Um, so I'll start with you, um, and, because uh, I also was excited uh, about the Wednesday series, and so I binged it. With the exception of episode eight, the final episode, which is what I'll be doing tonight. I almost did it last night, but I was like, brother, you need to get some sleep. So um, actually, you know what? I did half of the episode. So I have the final half hour of the episode to finish uh, once we get done recording tonight. So uh, yeah, and I'd love to actually maybe do a review with you if you're interested in uh, all eight episode recap review with you uh, to talk about it in, de in depth if we could, uh, if your time permits. But um for me, uh, just a little bit uh, as a preview, if you will, to our review, um, I'm loving it. Uh, I'm, to me, it's Adam's family enough for me, uh, but introducing some like obvious uh, CW undertones, some Riverdale, some of those elements which that did bring in, which isn't quite Adam's family, but to me, uh, <laughs> let's modernize it a little bit. And I'm cool with that somewhat modernization uh, tinge to it. Uh, Jenna Ortega is a superstar. Um, the best casting. Uh, I can't think of anybody else out there right now that they would have should have, you know, to you know be cast. I think they perfectly cast her. A, a perfect follow-up to Christina Ricci. And was excited to see her in this as well for her to have a part. But just outstanding. Uh that young star is going to get an Academy Award down the road. Um, and for and I also say this because I saw the fallout, thanks to uh, Glenn and his HBO Max subscription. Um, she's outstanding in that because, you know, she deals with the aftermath of a school shooting. Uh, it just shows her range to to be so dramatic in that, to be comedic in the other roles that she's had before on like Nickelodeon, Disney. Uh, and now, again, with this uh, in Wednesday, uh, she has an enormous amount of range and just is an outstanding young superstar um, that I can't wait to see grow and develop um, in the industry uh, with her career. But yeah, enjoyed Wednesday. Can't wait to finish that up. Looking forward to hopefully a deeper dive with you, Heather. Uh, as for Spirited, um, Glenn, uh, yes, you got me misconstrued, but I'm not saying that it was great. It was just okay. There's some tracks in there that there's some songs in there that are, I think are good. And just the overall tone. Maybe we should do a review on that too, Glenn, because I, I, I'd i like to see where it, you are on that. It, it's no Guardians. I think all of us will say Guardians was outstanding. Uh, mm -hmm. Loved Guardians. But Spirited, 
Um, it has its moments. I, I want to say my breakthrough, though, uh, and I'm curious if this was the same for you, Glenn, was um, The Ghost of Christmas Past. I think her name is Sunal Nati. Um, mm -hmm. I thought she was hilarious uh, as The Ghost of Christmas Past, especially. Um, she has some outspoken moments in the trailer where she's like, you know, maybe you need to call HR on me. But she was outstanding. <laughs> and there's a moment in there that she uh, that I won't spoil uh, that is just she gives me life. Uh, just her moments <laughs> in there is, is just I thought she was a breakthrough uh, to shine just as much as uh, uh, Will Ryan Reynolds, Ryan, yeah. but I thought she was just a great member of the cast, and I just want to see more of her because she just had some great moments uh, throughout that uh, film. But yeah, it was I, I wanted it to be better. It was just okay, but um, but yeah, uh, I could see what Heather was saying because Heather was letting us know the reviewers' side of things mm. uh, about how terrible it was. But I could see why they would say that as well. But I would agree with you though, Glenn. Reviewers are 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 more uh are 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 not as they don't play well with musicals. They're, uh, so, yeah, they're very yeah, critical. They're a little, yeah, very critical about musicals. So I agree to all those points. But yeah, Spirited was okay. Wednesday was outstanding. Guardians outstanding. Um, and yeah, caught up on the football. Got to see uh, you know, you know, I'm a big football guy like you too, Glenn. Got to see your Eagles fly, Eagles fly. Got to see my Niners handle business and uh, put some time with the family. I tried not to be on uh, as much and just put time in with the family. And I think I did a little bit of that to a degree, but feeling guilty of not keeping up with other stuff because there's so much stuff popping off. And we got some stuff happening this week that we'll talk about when we get done. But um, that's what's good with me I, that I can think of at the moment. Um, Y'all ready to take it to what is dropping this week? Because I know this top one, uh, Heather uh i never caught up on it and and i was i'm still guilty of it but i know heather's ready um y'all ready to talk about these new drops this week let's, let's get it i'm ready for some action all right the one that heather's super excited off is starting me off the bat uh it's willow y'all come to disney plus number three <laughs> you i know it's your you number one what heather is real and what isn't what is light what is dark Forget all you know. Come with me. Willow. Hey. We're looking for the sorcerer, Willow. I was told that once long ago you defeated the forces of evil. You remind me of your mother. My dear friend, I thought I could prevent all this. I was wrong. Oh, My brother yeah. did. The world needs you again. It needs your magic. Follow me. We must go beyond the edge of our world into the unknown. Well, I need your help. Just like old times. Ah, running. Horses. Bam. Bam. Happy to see Andy. Happy to see Andy. Our true enemy is still out there. Rallying the forces of evil. Oh. The only thing standing in its path is us. I'm going to enjoy this. If you think you're what I'm thinking, so am I. I doubt that very much. Take him to my tent and make sure he's tied up. I don't know. See, that kind of sounds like we're on the same page. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to play at being a sorcerer. Visiting strange Red world, flash. fighting monsters. Run! Never thought I'd actually really do it. Hit him with the that is that? Hey, <laughs> I'm so miffed. We have to hurry. How will you defeat us? Same as last time. With my friends. With my friends, duh. Yo. Oh. Heather. What you got to say with without <laughs> too much. I know this is what you've been really looking forward to. I have to say that on November 30th, we can finally talk about it. <laughs> oh. Until then, we are legally incapable of saying much more than yay. <laughs> have, have you, is it, is it the whole thing? Did you get the whole thing or you just got some? So we got the first three episodes um, as a, as a Halloween present. Uh, at the end of October, which means we had to wait five weeks to talk about things. Five weeks. 
Thank, thanks, Disney. Love you. Thanks, Disney. Um, thanks, Lucasfilm. Uh, but then we got, uh, miraculously, we got the next four episodes. So I have seen seven of the eight episodes, which means that I have to wait until January 20th for the final episode. Oh wow, that is painful. <laughs> my my <laughs> husband my husband watched it with me and is furious. He has told me to get on the phone with Iger and uh personally request the final episode. Oh wow. <laughs> and I didn't watch any of them yet. <laughs> oh, I can't talk to you. I need it. I you have no idea one of the hardest things to keep quiet about. Like this is Willow is top 10 best fantasy series of all time. It is classic 80s, you know, fun fantasy action adventure. And I can't talk about, I can't say the next sentence yet. Um, and it was just really exciting to see it in general. Like, I'll, I'll try to put eye to screen soon for you, Heather, each, so we can, we can, each episode's it. an hour long. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, Solid I probably should have done that than watching Wednesday, but I had to <laughs> watch Wednesday. I I I'm yeah. I need to talk to people about it. It's finally coming here. It's 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 the first two episodes arrive on Wednesday. Mm, so we're getting uh we're getting eight of the episodes, or like the the whole thing is eight episodes. The whole the whole series is eight episodes long. Two this week and once and one a week. I one following. So. Yeah. So since you can't talk about it, either one, like, I guess in either one of you can't talk well, about can't. it. Well, I haven't even watched them. Heather has already seen them, but I can't, I we can't, can't give our review. Can I, can I speculate? Yeah, yeah so I'm you can speculate. Wildly. You're free to speculate, Glenn. I am very excited for this. It looks like they're going to stay true to the original. I love that they brought back uh, my man Warwick. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's like kind of an icon, you know what I mean? Before like mini me and all that other stuff, like he was out there. You know, representing just just being himself. You know what I'm saying? Not like, oh, look at that you know, look at this. For you his know what age, I mean? Yo. Not not like, like you know, just throw. Insane. What's that? I'm sorry, dude. I was saying, he, and he still looks great for his age. Dude. Yeah, he does. He, he's like yeah. he's held up that magic, bro. That magic is held up well. Uh, yes, <laughs> he, he's not, he's not wrinkled or anything, and he uh, he looks good. And it looks it looks uh, very very fun. I like the surrounding cast that they have with it. Uh, the baddies they look bad, um, and I feel like they haven't showed us like who the actual big bad is. Um, not I'm not gonna you know look for any uh, confirmation on that. I'm just gonna walk into it and expect that I haven't seen the the big bad. But I I think they're they're holding it down. There's a sense of wonder. There's a sense of mystery uh, with it, and it seems like there's gonna be a sense of adventure and the zaniness that came with the first one. And just remember, the first Willow was just one movie that was what an hour and forty five minutes long or something like that, ninety minutes. And now we're getting eight hours of this world of Willow yeah. and magic and wizards and trolls and everything. Although it's kind of weird to have trolls now with no internet i don't know how that is like that's the trolls that we're used to now like like uh so heather if she's biting her tongue i know she can't say anything and she probably wants to say so much uh but i'm excited for this i can't wait to watch it i am not going to torture myself like heather or kuya p i'm just gonna i'm gonna wait you know, it's going to be my weekly look forward. I'm just going to wait until Wednesday. I'm going to watch it. And then I'm going to, and I'm going to look forward each week to it. Because I, I kind of miss having a, like, I don't have Game of, like, House, House and of Dragons. we used Dragon. to do a review segment all together with all of us. Yeah, you know? we, we, It would we be cool to do something happen. all of us again. Because it's been me and Heather with a lot of the Marvel stuff. Yeah. And then you and I, Glenn, used to do the, the Mandalorian stuff all the time. All that, yeah. You but I, I think I think Willow, I would definitely like to get like get some swings in uh, reviewing, yeah. you know, episode after episode, especially with your brain, Heather. I would love to, uh, you know, bump them together and uh, and figure out what's what within this Heather uh, in this Heather world, in this Willow world. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah. that. So I, like I, I, as much as you seem to to, uh, you know. Um, enjoy it or or uh, like the process of the the whole thing. I'm, I don't want to say that you liked it or didn't like it. I don't want to get you in trouble. But <laughs> as much as you seem to have an affinity for this uh, content, I feel like I'll have just as much an affinity when I see it. And I would love to, you know, be able to bounce it back. And then Kuya P, I know you, you're into this type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You like the little, 
you like the wizards, you like the electricity, you like the magic. So uh, yeah, I'd be excited to do a review on it. I'm 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 uh, I'm hyped for Willow. I can't wait for it to come out. All right, so stay tuned, y'all. We may do a recap of the the first two episodes dropping this week, and uh, I'll say because I know this is uh, you're, you're I'm sure you're curious why Heather this wasn't the number one. Uh, you'll understand the number one in a second. So I, I kind of did my three, two, one in in, in regards to anticipation. Um, I gave this next one the lead over Willow only because I know everybody's going to see Willow, but I don't think mm -hmm. very many people are going to be interested in checking this out. So that's why I kind of wanted to give this one uh, a number two. Um, but intrigued. I did watch it because we did get this in advance. I don't know if you watched it. I haven't Heather. even watched it yet. I I'm going to watch it tomorrow. I promise. I'm going to watch it tomorrow. Go, no go worries. So, the suspense is killing me. So what is it? number two, which I hope more people see because I did enjoy watching this, but I can't give my official review. Uh, other than that, um, it's Darby and the Dead coming to Hulu. I'm Darby Harper. Just watch me. Are you sitting down for this? I see dead people. I help them pass on to the next realm. You'd think that'd be my life's biggest burden, but it is a distant second to where I am forced to spend my days. High school. That's Capri Donahue. Head cheerleader. Isn't cheer just for shallow hot girls? I'm so glad you asked. And the answer is, that's offensive. Capri knows I'm the one person she can't get to like her. Darby, I forgot you went here. Capri, give me my clothes. Why would I take your clothes? I'm not planning on attending a funeral. She can be a little extra sometimes. Extra psychotic. I'm reporting live. Frederick Douglass High School, where yesterday students witnessed the shocking death of head cheerleader Capri Donahue. Wake up! Wake up, bitch. Oh, God damn it. You can't see me. What are you doing here? My sweet 17 is coming up in a month. All I want is this party. Help me. And then I'll move on. In what world do you think I can throw your dream party? In a world where I make you popular enough to do it. <laughs> Who is that? I want her, but... Any press is good press. Seeing a dead person. Hi, bitch. He is a very traumatic experience. Ah! You look like you've just seen a ghost. Ah! This is criminal bullying. I think it's criminally good haunting. <laughs> All right, there you go. Coming to Hulu. Um, I did check it out. I can't give my official review, but um, until Wednesday. But yeah, yeah ironically, um, Disney also gave this one to us a while ago, and yeah. the weird thing was is they didn't tell us anything about it. There weren't like any previews out. They're just like, here, have a gift, and we're like, mm -hmm. what? exactly, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, no, it's, I got <laughs> the email today. And it's like I reading the premise of it. It so talking about things like like at uh, like. Wednesday where we were where you said it was a little bit CW this feels a little bit CW to me but like not saying that CW ain't is bad like you can yeah. have really fun CW fun high school dramas and I'm actually really looking forward to it now that there is context to what we are seeing so yeah when we first well when I first kind of stepped into it yeah we had nothing and so I was just like you know what I'm just gonna jump into the pool and check it out and and yeah and I'll leave it there because again, I can't talk on um, my thoughts. Um, what do you think, Glenn? What do you think of that? It looks fun. It looks fun. It looks like uh, the actresses, the young actresses that are in this uh, do a good job with the material. It doesn't seem canned or corny. Um, I mean, maybe it'll seem corny. It seems like they're delivering it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, sometimes people try to be too cool. And then it's just like, all right, you're this, nothing's that cool. Or they don't deliver the lines in a comedic way. You know, the comedic timing's off. Looks like they've uh, they nailed it. The young lady who's playing Darby, she looks like she's on point. Um, so I could see myself liking this. Um, is it a series or a movie? Movie, movie. Okay, yeah. For ninety minutes, I could I could live in the world of Darby. Check it out. See if there's going to be a spinoff because this definitely has spinoff. Uh, you know, like Buffy the Vampire uh, television series vibes to it that you know they might bring it back if it is successful so i'm hoping for the success of it it looks kind of cool um and uh yeah that's 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 where i'm at on it i'm i'm gotcha. hyped. okay yeah to add to I, I will say this too sorry yeah. Kuyupi, 
Good, good job. Because I was wondering, what is he going to follow this up with? What's the number two? Because it's fine if you have a different number one. You know what I mean? Everybody's got a different topic. Yeah. But what is the number two going to be that jumped over Willow? <laughs> and I like this. I like this pick. I, a I had a switch move, up, but I think you know, anticipation. Because everybody's going to, you know, obviously, you, I think you both will recognize my number one. Uh, okay. Because we did a trailer react to it, and I fell in love with that. So that's why it's my number one. Willow, we all you know know, and we're going to check out. So number two, I was like, let me show something that I did see in advance, but also that might be under the people's radar. So yeah, and uh, another reason to go back to why I chose it, because again, like Heather said, we didn't get a lot of information. We did get some of the actors' context who were going to be involved in it. I believe we we did get that list and I recognized some of the actors. So I was like, oh, those are actors that are in stuff my daughter watches. And okay. that's what provoked me as well, because I'm always trying to find content that I could suggest to my daughter and hopefully be a cool dad. Because again, I have a teen who doesn't want to spend time with her dad because I'm not cool. And so I was like, oh, hey, babe, this is characters or actors you <laughs> are fans of. You may want to check this out. Um, so, and actually like Wednesday over the weekend, she saw me watching it and sat down for a little bit and checked a couple of bit, uh, a couple, you know, minutes out. And I, now I think she's going to watch it because I think she got into it. So, um, so hopefully, you know, I can be a cool dad and I'm giving her some recommendations, but again, you know, as a dad who wants to learn or listen to what I have to say to a young teen. So anyway, that no, I'll put away the sorrow for me. Um, you fight a good fight, Kuya P. You gonna yeah, win over? I'm trying to connect, man. I'm trying to be a good dad. So I think she'll check out Darby and the Dead. At least you know you I go. think people should. Because anyway, I checked it out, and more people should check it out. I'll leave it there because I don't want to get in trouble. So my number one. What am I talking about? Number one. I'm talking about a violent night, y'all. My number one. Check it out. Dropping this week. I can't wait. He's so good. You ain't driving, are you? I steer a little, but the ranger do my sewer. <laughs> this is my full fear of the Santa. How about you? I started the whole damn thing. Oh, oh, oh! Well, you, when did you work for uh, Coca-Cola is the question. We decided right. that you could have one gift. Early. What is oh, it? That is a direct hotline to Santa Claus himself. I can talk to Santa. All right, revelers. What? Welcome to your worst Christmas ever. Let's go! You have $300 million in your personal vault. That's what I want for Christmas. I don't want any trouble, okay? Something's gonna scooch up that chimney. <laughs> Who is he? Cause he's not your typical mall Santa. Santa, are you there? <laughs> Daddy said you were very busy tonight. <laughs> My name is Trudy like so. Are you gonna help us, Santa? Yeah, Trudy. Santa? No, my nice list. Santa Claus is coming to town. Time for some season's beatings. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Boss, what if he really is the There's real? No such thing as Santa. These bad men, they're all my naughty list. Naughty. That's naughty! And what do you do to naughty ones? I give them a lump of coal. Where is it? I gotta watch. Ah! I believe in you, Santa. Come on. Which one of you did that? Prancer? So unprofessional. Yo, I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Heather, <laughs> what do you want to say about Violent Night? I am so, so very excited. Um, to tag in real quick, just because John Leguizamo is like one of the greatest humans of all time. Um, if you're looking for 
fun things to watch on Netflix along with is this is that black enough for you um his his uh stand up latin history for morons is also Oh on yeah Netflix. yeah great and that is probably one of my favorite stand up comedy acts of all time just just to tag in um but i would really like i it's it's like David Harbour and Jolly Guisamo in a Christmas movie that where a whole bunch of people die by the same people who did um, Bullet Train. Like, come on. It's great. Yeah. Glenn Lawrence, what are you thinking? What is what, what are we coming to as, as human beings? Like, what is going on? Do we need violent Santa? Do we need yes. that? Yes. Yes. Also, uh, my younger kind of movie you were looking forward to at the beginning of this episode. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, my younger self is very much excited for this because, you know, I'm into the diehards and the, the action movies and everything. But my older self is like, come on, can we just do, does everything have to be the violent version? You know what I mean? Like Winnie the Pooh, if he's a killer or <laughs> Santa, you know. Oh, yeah. You missed that reaction. Blood yeah, and honey. Great. We're pouring a little honey out for for them players out there. <laughs> um, so, but I'm I'm excited. David Harbor uh, is amazing. John Leguizamo is amazing. I always love new uh, child actors in there. See how how good they are. How how good the interplay is there. Um, and it seems like there's going to be some wild and random killings that like you wouldn't expect. You know what I mean? Someone's getting a Christmas tree up the tuchus. I can I can almost assure you of that i haven't seen it but i'm pretty sure someone's getting a christmas tree up the butt the hanukkah, um, bu the hanukkah bushes fit perfectly up there I'm there, just you go. <laughs> there you go um so i'm i'm uh i'm all in i'm not going to go to the theater to check it out i will wait for it to come on the streaming but i will check out violent night um begrudgingly because i know i shouldn't another you know i shouldn't i shouldn't watch it but i'm i'm gonna watch it yeah, well, I'm going to try and find some time because we have a lot of things happening this week. Um, so I, I'm just going to try and see if I can't fit it in somewhere because of everything we have going on. Um, but yeah, because I'm dying to see it, uh, see, see what David Harbour is going to do as Santa Claus. Um, so I'm going to make the time. But uh, as we close out what we are doing, what everybody can look forward to uh, before we sign off, um, we are going to be covering Exotica, y'all. Um, as you might have seen uh, with some of the interviews I've had on the channel, uh, as we've gone on the road to Exotica, I had John Legendary, I had Stephanie Ild, I had Jessica Starling, I had uh, Bowen Bloomer Yang, and I've had Erica Icon, and actually I have some other interviews that I think I need to post up between now and this weekend. Uh, but we're covering the adult industry, y'all, uh, kind of breaking down these barriers. Uh, we are all one. We are all people. We just may do other things. So uh, just great conversation and uh, look forward to some of our coverage as we'll be covering that. And uh, also some other things that I was going to say that, you know what, I'm going to hold back because I'm not sure yet. Uh, and Heather is my advisor over there because she knows. Um, but yeah, we have some good stuff coming your way. Y'all, what else do we have to say before we sign off? Uh, let me toss it back to you, Heather. Uh, anything people can look forward to before we get up out of here? Uh, uh. Yes. <laughs> I, some willow. I, some willow. Willow. There's willow. There's going to be some reviews up. Yeah. Hit the subscribe button and tell us your thoughts, what you're excited about. And we are. Christmas is starting. Yes. Yay. <laughs> yeah, we may have some stuff tied to that uh, to give to our people out there that are real fans and check us out every week. Um, stay tuned to that. Um, there'll be more. Glenn, how about you? Any uh, shows or anything we want to promote before we get up out of here? Well, uh, you know, I'll be watching things. Keep watching them birds. I will be at uh, the Church of Satire on December 9th and 10th. Uh, that's in Hanover, Pennsylvania. So get your tickets if you're out there in Hanover. Uh, that's Church of Satire. Also, I'll be at the DC Comedy Loft. I'd still got to get a date, but it's coming in December. Uh, I'm going to be on a uh show out there i'll uh be sure to shoot you those um tickets or check your you know facebook igs all those good things um because i'll post it up there so that's that's where i'll be coming up in terms of the funnies and the ha -has. um and that's about it you know i'm gonna try to catch up on some of the stuff had a crazy thanksgiving you know week or weekend um trying to you know soft 
landing back into the normal flow of things. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, once, once I, once I get up and running, which I feel like I've been trying to get up and running since I had this kid, <laughs> nothing ever seems like it's like going the way that it's supposed to, but, um, but yeah, I got a few shows coming up and then some other cool things, uh, on the, on the streaming platforms that, uh, should be coming out, uh, uh, sooner or later at the beginning of the year for sure it's gonna be a new new year's resolution to get all this stuff out all right i'm gonna drop the uno reverse card back again to you glenn before i go back in uh how can the people reach out to you uh drop them socials level up comedy level up comedy across all your socials level up comedy.com glenn levels up on twitter glenn lawrence comedy on facebook and ig and heather you can follow me at nerds uh, at Heather. And it's, it's, it's been a week, guys. We had a long weekend. I'm sorry. At nerd is a Heather on Twitter what, before it combusts, or Heather is a nerd on IG Hive and TikTok. There you go. And for me, it's the legend Kuya P on the Twitter, on the IG, and of course Hive, because fuck Elon Musk. And of course, uh, at the NRW and the annual release Wednesday with the whole squad where nerds rule the world. We will be back again, y'all. Stay tuned to the channel. Lots of stuff popping off. We're just crazy busy. It's the holidays, y'all. So a lot of things are getting impacted, but we love y'all. Can't wait to see y'all next time. And until then, we out. Peace. All right. <laughs>